Maybe you can briefly speak to something you tweeted recently about uh, Donald Trump going to McDonald's and the minimum wage, I believe, of seven and a half dollars. Can you just speak to that tweet? Look, nothing new. Trump didn't invent it. That's called a photo opportunity. I've done one or two in my life, too. So you go to a place, he puts on an apron. He, good old Donald Trump, just another McDonald's worker. Really. But anyhow, he was sublime. He did his photo op. That's fine. Kamala Harris was in North Carolina handing out food to people who were victims of the, the, the hurricane. Fine. That's what politicians do. But some reporter asked them, they said, you know, Mr. Trump, uh, are you for raising the minimum wage? And that was a fair question because she got, I don't know how many, but many, many thousands of McDonald's workers and millions of other American workers right now are trying to get by on nine, 10, 11 bucks an hour. Federal minimum wage is seven and a quarter. You have people working in McDonald's right now for sure who are working for 12, 13 bucks an hour. So the reporter said, how, you know, what do you think about raising the federal minimum wage? And he's, oh, these are great workers. I love McDonald's and so forth. He didn't answer the question. Well, I think that in the richest country in the history of the world, if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty. And that means we should have a federal minimum wage, not absurdly seven and a quarter an hour, but in my view, $17 an hour. Uh, will that solve all the economic problems for working class people? No, it won't. It'll help. It'll help.